Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at what a route map is and how it really works. Uh, I'm going to be applying route maps to PBR, which stands for policy based routing. Uh, but mind you, we can apply route maps to BGP or redistribution as well. This one and this one. First, I'll try to explain what and how it works. I mean, the route maps. Then I'll give an example by applying to PBR. So, so let's let's start. We see a blue bucket here, and there were some cats outside the bucket, and I put the red ones into. The bucket. You see some some red cats into the bucket. In, in in the bucket. Now I have got some cats inside the bucket, and some other cats outside the bucket. Some are green, and 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 some are yellow, and and there is this weird cat, right? So we need to ask two questions here. What is going to happen to the cats inside the box? And what is going to happen to the cats outside the box, outside the bucket? Before we answer these two questions, let me sh let me show you how to create this box and put something in it. Let's take this ACL. It says uh, access this 100 permit IP host 1.1.1.1 host 2.2.2.2. And we all know that there are two statements here, right? Because there is a hidden statement which denies all other traffic. This is hidden. And, and, and it is this keyword deny. When you configure an ACL, please remember permit means put in the bucket, deny means don't put in the bucket. That's it. They have nothing to do with their actual meanings. Meaning, any traffic which is coming from host 1111 and destined to 2222 will be in the blue bucket and all other traffic will be outside the blue pocket bucket so this was the first first part here permit means put in the bucket and deny means don't put in the bucket now let's talk about root map this, this was this was the first part now let's talk about the second part here's an example of a root map it goes like root map ABC permit one match inside the bucket do set paint and black and root map ABC denies this number match outside the bucket don't set paint and black so let's talk about them every root map has three lines like this this is the first line where we define the name and and we put permit and or deny statement and a sequence number and the second line is the match line it is always here even if you don't type it and the third line is is the is the set line which is always also always there even if you don't type some people might disagree with this but trust me it is always there and the last but not the least every root map has an implicit deny like we have in uh, with the ACLs so let's talk about them, right? Here, excuse me, here, ABC is the name of the root map. Like, like we have when we create an ACL. So it is easy to understand. This is the sequence number. And we have the same with the ACLs. Cool, this is another sequence number. The, the, the keyword, this match, I think it speaks uh, for itself because when you say when you when you, when it says met inside the bucket, it means this, right? Here met outside the bucket, it means this cat and these cats. Now let's talk about these two statements. These are important: permit and deny. If you see a permit statement. In a root map, just imagine there is a keyword do in front of this set keyword. And, and basically, it means 
to whatever it, this this green part says. And if, if you see a deny statement, just put don't before this this set, set keyword. And obviously it means don't do whatever this green part says. Permit means do, deny means don't. So far so good. Now the biggest question comes, and I believe this is the part which a lot of people simply ignore and where things get a bit complicated. The question is, who is going to use this root map? For example, take this uh, uh, blue box example uh, with, with the red cats in it. Say there is a painter here and he is going to use this root map. Okay, so this is the first question you should ask. And the second question which you should ask is, what does a painter do? A painter paints. That's it. See, I'm, I'm repeating my statements. Uh, you should ask two questions. The first one is this. Who's going to use this root map? A painter. And what does a painter do? So, now let's talk about this scenario. What do you think he will do with the red cats? This one, the, the, the painter. It says, permit means do. And it means do whatever it says here, paint them black. So he's going to paint them black. What is he going to paint, paint black? He's going to paint these cats black, right? That's it. And, and the second question, what, what do you think he will do with this these cats? What, what do you think he will do to these, to these cats? Nothing. Why? Because he's just a painter, painter, right? It says here, I'm a permit statement says, paint them black because do whatever the screen part says and don't if you use a deny statement and just imagine there's a don't keyword here and it is don't do this one he's not going to paint them black that's it I'm a, i cannot emphasize enough the importance of these two questions who's going to use it and what does he do and just imagine uh, say we have a butcher here and he's going to use this root map and and the root map goes like root map abc permit one match inside the bucket which is this one and do set instead of this just imagine we, we, we use uh, there's a keyword here slaughter and root map abc deny this number match outside the bucket don't set slaughter so what do you think the butcher will do yes the butcher will kill these little red cats because it says do slaughter for permit right and and and, and he's going to do nothing to the ones outside the bucket uh, bucket that's it i think this is this is uh, also easy to understand in the first part we talk about these two statements permit and deny they simply mean these two if you use a permit statement it means put in the bucket and if you see a deny statement deny keyword it simply means don't put in the bucket whereas in a root map if you use a permit statement it means do whatever the screen part says and when we see a deny statement it means don't do whatever the screen part says now let's talk about some real scenarios because not painters or butchers will use root maps right now, root maps can be used by a policy-based routing, or redistribution, or BGP. These three. Now, let's go ahead and apply a root map to a BBR, PBR, or a policy-based routing. Remember to ask these questions. This is the first one. Who is going to use the root map, PBR in this case? And what does a PBR do? It policy routes. I'm repeating. It policy route to policy route or not a policy route like like to paint or not to paint okay so 
Um, I have got this um, topology here. Two computers connected to the switch, and I've got one um, gateway, and it has got two different internet connections. These uh, two dot two dot two dot two. These two represent um, the internet, and first. Um, this is my computer one it, with an IP address 192.168.1.10. Let me trace route to 2.2.2.2. Trace route 2.2.2.2. See what happens here is my my computer uses this path, right? Because um, 34 uh, 35.0.0.5 is here. And let me do the same thing with PC2 trace route 2.2.2.2. See, it uses the same path. Both of these computers use the same path to reach the internet. And let me go to my uh, gateway, which is this one show IP route 2.2.2.2. See, this is my routing table. And if I see if I use show IP self a exact route, say the traffic is coming from 192.168.1.10 going to 2.2.2.2. By the way, I assume that you already know self and load balancing. And this case, I say if I see a traffic coming from 1.10 and going to this IP address, which represents the internet, it's going to be using this interface, which I know the the, the, the second one. And let me change the IP address. See, if the packet is coming from this IP address, it will use the same interface. I'm just skip, uh, ignoring this part uh, because I assume that you already know self and load balancing. Now, I want to change the way that this this computer, um, the, the, you, uh, the, the path that this computer chooses to reach the internet. For example, I, I want this computer to use this path to go to the internet. Okay, let, let me do it. Now listen. First, I'm going to create an ACL access list. Uh, 100 permit. IP host. IP host. IP host. 192.168.1.10. and host 2.2.2.2. So this is my access list, which I am going to be using in, in, for my root map. So uh, what does this permit means? Statement means it means put in the bucket, right? In the bucket, in the in the bucket. So I'm going to put this traffic, which is coming from this IP address and going to this, in a bucket in this in that blue bucket if you remember and there is a hidden statement here which is deny and and all other traffic which is not matched will be outside the bucket cool now let me create my root map root map root map root map abc uh, permit one match 100 excuse me match ip address 100 and set IP next hop uh, this IP address 34.0.0.4 34.004 so let's talk about this root map root map ABC ABC is the name of the root map permit means what permit means do this but I'm using a I'm using uh, I'm applying this root map to uh, I will apply this root map to a PBR so what does a PBR do eight policy routes basically permit means policy route and set the IP address the next IP address to this IP address which is this one 
and we all know that there is an implicit deny, uh, implicit statement, and and it will not policy route the traffic outside the bucket. That's it. So let me continue. I have to apply this to an interface. I'm going to apply it here to this interface, which which I know it's uh, fast to zero by zero, zero slash zero. IP policy root map ABC. That's it. This is how I apply a policy uh, a root map to a policy PVR. Now, PVR is using this root map. Okay, so let's test this. Previously, okay, so let, let's, this is PC2, which is this one. Let me trace root, let me do the same thing. See, it's using this path like it did before. How about this one, PC1? It should change the path. See, it changed the path now. Why? Because I told him to do so. Because this traffic was in the blue pocket bucket, and and PBR policy routed it. So do you see? Does the PBR block this traffic? No, of course not. A, a, our PBR simply will not policy route it. Because a PBR does two things: to policy route or not to policy route. That's it. I think we're done. I'm not going to give you examples applying uh, root maps to redistribution um, or a BGP, but let me tell you something. When applying root maps to redistribution, a permit statement means do redistribute, or a deny statement or deny keyword means don't redistribute. That's it. Or in the case of a BGP, uh, a permit statement is mostly interpreted as do advertise, and a deny statement means don't advertise. See, as you see, permit um, or, or deny statements have nothing to do with allowing or blocking any traffic. It is not their job to do that. I think that's it. I hope this video helped you understand root maps and if you have any any uh, questions please leave your comments and thanks for watching